Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike and today I'm going to do another Landroid video. Today's video is going to be on repairing a broken perimeter wire. But before I get started, I'd just like to ask you to please subscribe to this channel. It gives me motivation knowing that people actually enjoy what I'm making. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer them and get to them as soon as I can. So without further ado, well, let's get started. All right, first things first, if you think you have a broken perimeter wire, check the Landroid base and see if you have a red light or a green light. If you have a red light, it means there's a break in the wire. And the red light I'm talking about is this one right here. So if you have the red light, your next step is gonna to be to find exactly where it's broken at. This one's pretty easy. Uh, the Landroid cleanly cut through it. You can see, here it is, and here's this side. So we're gonna have to clean the edges up, basically cut the wires so they're straight, so that we can fix it. So this is the tool that we use to fix it. It's a wire splicer, I guess. And when you buy a Landroid, you actually get two of these. I've already used one once last year, but this is the second one that I'm going to use today. However, if you don't wanna buy, or if you run out and you don't wanna buy the works version, Amazon has very similar connectors basically the same thing for a whole lot cheaper and I will put the link below if you need to buy some more wires and what these are is if you look in here I don't know how good it's going to show up on camera but there is some gel that makes it waterproof you'll stick a wire in a hole a wire in each hole and then you'll just clamp this down once you have that you're also going to need the pliers to clamp down and then these are tin snips but wire cutters to clean the edge so this edge is pretty raggedy and it's not going to go in there cleanly so all all i am going to do is just make a fresh cut all right and now we have a nice clean edge i'm gonna do the same thing on this one all right nice clean edge like i said before all you do is you just take the wire, put one on one side, and then take the other wire and put it in the other side. So if you take the top off, you can see the gel in there, and you can see the wires, how they go in. And then here's the metal cap to help complete the circuit. So once again, make sure the wire is pushed all the way up. Then you take your pliers. And you just pinch it down. And now the wire is in there. It's not going to come loose. And the, the gel keeps it waterproof and that's it now your your uh, perimeter wire is spliced and ready to go again and now I come back over to the base and the light is green which means we have a good connection again so that's all there is to it the hardest part is going to be finding the actual break in the wire once you find that it's a one minute fix as you just saw so if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, have a great day.